DP215 is the only car of its type that exists. They, they always had the plan to build more, but this is, this is the only one. It, it has a unique place in history as the last of the David Brown era racing cars run by the factory. What they achieved was, was absolutely phenomenal, which is why I think this is such a significant car in Aston Martin's history. 49 cars get off the mark in the Le Mans 24 hour race in this gruelling test of endurance and speed. Obviously Le Mans has a massive draw for Aston Martin. It's where we go, it's where we wave our flags in the, in the biggest possible way. This car uh, that clocked almost 200 miles an hour along the Mousson Strait with Phil Hill driving is really the most epic moment in the DP car history. And to sit behind the wheel of this car in the early 1960s must have been really quite formidable, which is why you had drivers like Phil Hill came along to drive the car. To me, this was the ultimate David Brown racing Aston Martin, and it's a serious piece of kit. Wonderful! It's a real thoroughbred. It never, ever ceases to thrill. In the 1970s, the car changed hands a number of times, and then obviously went to Nigel Dawes. Um, Nigel Dawes restored it with Ted Cutting's help, the original designer of the car, did a fantastic job of putting the car back to uh, very much its original specification. 2001, the car's bought by the Corner family, uh, and they've uh, invested a huge amount of time and effort in restoring the car, along with the help of Ted Cutting, to put it back to its 1963 specification. When I got the car, it had a 4.2 litre engine in, and then I got the chance to get the original engine. Now the original engine was four litres and the engine number is 400 stroke 215 stroke 1. And it's the engine that was in the car when Phil Hill drove it. So that was the final bit of the jigsaw, the original engine which had been taken out of this car in 1965 right here in Newport Pagnell is now back in there where it should be. This is a proper works built job yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. Built by the works, tested by them, under the auspices of John Wire. This was Aston Martin Gaze Racing for the last time under David Brown. You take this car out on the road, whichever part, whether it's America, whether it's Europe or back in England, it's a joy to take out and drive. It's a unique experience. For Aston Martin Works to be part of this, to have 215 back here at Newport Pagna after so many years is absolutely wonderful. It's a fantastic car and I really hope that the next owner will take on the mantle, use the car, enjoy it, drive it and show it so we can all enjoy the car being raced for many, many years to come. <laughs>